Now, right here you have just identified the feature of the map area, and then you leave as it is. But right here you have to identify the feature of the map area. Then you have to explain the role, the characteristics, of the significance of that feature of the map area. So coming to, I mean, come to what you call map analysis. I mean, in map analysis right now. We are explaining, I mean, after identifying the features, then we have to show the interrelationship between each feature of the map area. It means right now in map analysis, we show the interrelationship between features, features found on a map the area. See, example, you want to know the relationship between uh, relief and the drainage. There is a relationship between relief and the drainage. The relationship between vegetation and the climate. You see, why is this type, I mean, why there is this type of vegetation? There is this type of vegetation because it is influenced, or there is relationship between uh, the climate of a given map. See, for instance, why do we have a uh, dense forest in equatorial areas? We have dense forest in equatorial area because we have high amount of rainfall, and uh, that is the relationship between vegetation and the climate. Let's see the relationship between uh, soil or rocks nature. And the settlement. You see, there is a relationship between rocks, nature, or the soil type, and the settlement. Most of the people, are, especially the farmers, uh, they like to settle in a, in a place where there is a good uh, soil for agricultural activities. So you may find most of them they'll be accumulated in area with which is with area with fertile soil. Why? Because they will do the activities uh, in a sustainable way. Then. It, <coughs> Um, by going back, I can say, I'm sure you have understood, uh, you have understanding this uh, concept right here, that we have what we call map reading, map interpretation, as well as map analysis. So, from here, uh, without wasting uh, time, because I know you've studied it in your, I mean, at your school, most of the time. So, let's see some of the questions, which are competent questions based on, on how are we going to answer some of the questions, you see? Listen to me very carefully. We are going to see some of the questions which are based on exams or questions. So the, most of these questions, they are competent questions. And uh, what I said here, the questions, they are not asked directly, see? So you are the one who are supposed, I mean, who will be supposed to ident identify the key needs of the question. Are we together? Okay, let's see uh, the question right here that you may find it in your examination. Uh, as a Form 6 student uh, who is taking geography. So, uh, explain the type and nature of vegetation distribution on a map. Uh, the question needs to explain the types and the nature of what vegetation distribution uh, found on a map. So, the point is, uh, when you're explaining or oh, what are the, need, um, the, the key needs of this question, it means we have to explain the type and nature of vegetation distribution. So, by starting, it means you have to explain what is the vegetation, it means you, you, you have to show the definition of vegetation. We all know that the vegetation refers to the natural planted trees found in the map area. The natural planted trees found in the map area, or we call it vegetation. So vegetation refers to the natural planted tree. Trees found on a map D area. See, so we have two types of, uh, we have a lot of uh, natural planted trees found on the map area. We have the woodland, the scrub, the, um, what we call the uh, scattered trees, the forest, etc. These are the natural planted trees, but we can categorize them sometimes as artificial, uh, artificial vegetation in case there is preservation of what we call the forest reserve. You found a forest, then you want to, uh, you manage it so that it can be uh, for a particular goal or plan. It means that we call it the artificial forest uh, reserve. So, uh, 
by taking forest reserve as, a, as an example, that's not, it's not the natural vegetation. We call them the artificial what, vegetation. So we can divide the vegetation found and map into two. We have the natural vegetation as well as the artificial vegetation. Example, the forest reserve, the plantation found on a given map. See? So then from there, <coughs> the question needs to explain the type and the nature. So it means in types of vegetation, in type of vegetation found in map it means we have two types. We have the natural vegetation as well as the artificial artificial vegetations. So what are the natural vegetation? It means these are the vegetation that found naturally. For instance, oh example of these are we have the what we call the woodlands. You see? The scrubs the scattered trees scattered trees or uh, foresty etc these are example of what we call the natural vegetation then we have the artificial vegetation most of this artificial vegetation as i said are the for instance foresty reserve foresty reserve areas it means we have area where uh, we found forests which are reserved. You see, so most of this forest reserve, we take an example, is an example is an example of what we call the artificial vegetation found on the map area. So, this is the type of vegetation. Let's go to the nature of vegetation distribution. You see, nature of vegetation distribution. It means the nature of, nature of the vegetation distribution. Is, uh, we say vegetation distribution by definition. Vegetation. Vegetation distribution. Vegetation distribution refers to the presence or the absence of a certain plant species or vegetation species on a map area. The presence or the absence. It means we are talking of the presence or absence of vegetation species. Or presence or absence of species of vegetation on a map area what i mean is let's start, let us take an example let's say this is our map sheet see then we found right here this is our map you may find maybe the southern part the southern eastern part of my map there is few vegetation then you find right here at the central part of the map, there is no vegetation. Then you find this point here at the northern, western part of my map, there is few vegetation or more vegetation. So, what is vegetation distribution by defini definition, as I said, we refer to the either the presence or the absence of a particular species of plants on a map area. We found right here there are few or many vegetation. Then right here there is no vegetation. Few or more vegetation. It means the presence or the absence of a particular uh, plant species given map area. We call it the vegetation distribution. Vegetation species distributed all over the map the area. That's the vegetation distribution. So, on, I mean, in explaining the nature of the vegetation distribution, it means they need us to explain. Uh, how do vegetation, I mean distribution or variation found within the map here. So we have two type of or nature of vegetation distribution. We have the even vegetation distribution, vegetation distribution, distribution. Listen to me very careful. We have the even vegetation distribution and the uneven vegetation, dis vegetation distribution. What I mean, it means you may find some of the vegetation, they are equally distributed all over the map area. You see? Even means equal distribution of vegetation, which is very, uh, which occurred. Sometimes we have the even vegetation distribution in some part of the map area, in some part of the map area. For instance, let's say you found vegetation maybe at this part right here. It is covered this part, all over this part. You see, so you may find it at the southern eastern part of my map. There is, there is even vegetation distribution. Why? Maybe because the scrub has covered the southern, the whole part of the southern eastern part of my map. Then we call it 
even vegetation distribution. But I repeat, this one, the uneven vegetation distribution, this is our correct answer. Mostly, because why? Because most of the vegetation, they will rarely cover the whole map, as I've explained earlier. So let's see another question based on topographical map interpretation. You are watching Darasa Online. Okay. Now let us see this. I mean, the second questions. Um, <clears throat> assume that you have been provided with a topographical map. How can you identify different type of drainage system in relation to rock structure of the mapped area? So, let us see what are the key needs of the question. That uh, we are assuming that we have provided with the topographical map. Then, how can you identify different type of drainage system? It means the question need us to identify different type of drainage system but in relation to rock structure of the mapped area so it means first it need to explain different type of drainage system that is the first need of the question second it need us to, of any form of water bodies over the mapped area listen to me very careful there is a difference between the drainage and drainage system. Drainage system will refer to the natural overflow, the natural outlay of water river and its distributary or tributary over the mapped area. We